Good day. My name is Martin Schweiger and I will today walk you through lesson one of my course Accelerating Patent Prosecution at the European Patent Office EPO for all those who want to get an EP patent quick. Lesson one overview. How to boost your EPO application by accelerating and eliminating prosecution steps. I have here drawn the EPO as a box in dotted lines and it is a simplification of course. What I want to say or to show to you is that you can send a EP patent application to the EPO which means you file a request for grant of a patent and in the final step EPO would issue a granted patent to you. The same can be done if you file a PCT patent application and you choose as an option EPO as an international search authority. You go through the PCT phase one and phase two until you file a EP regional phase entry. That must be done within 31 months from the earliest priority date. So here we are already at the first step what you can do in order to accelerate the grant of an EPO patent. You request for early entering processing at the EPO and I have here put my accelerate symbol that I will use throughout the entire course. It is the fast forward button symbol from your tape recorder if you remember that. What follows first after either filing a direct EP patent application or entering the EP regional phase is that you receive a letter that you can do voluntary amendments according to the rule 161-162 European Patent Convention. What we can do in order to save time is we file a waiver of this rule 161-162 notification and it comes with a cross symbol for eliminating the process. I will use the same symbol throughout the whole course and that will save you six months time in the grant process. After that follows the next step which is a search or a supplementary search depending on what you have requested as an ISA in the PCT phase one. Here comes the next option to accelerate the prosecution steps at EPO. You file a PACE request and I call it the PACE 1 because there are actually two PACE requests that you can file. Again it comes with the acceleration symbol. If you are now wondering what PACE stands for, it is a French term Programme de Traitement Accéléré and I have highlighted those letters in capital that are used for the PACE abbreviation. That would save you three months in average. The next step would be a confirmation after obtaining the search result. You can file a waiver of that confirmation and thereby skip the entire six months that come with it. This is called Rule 70 paragraph 2 waiver. Then comes the examination stage. We can save time by filing a PACE 2 request or a PPH request, Patent Prosecution Highway. And again you see the acceleration symbol here. And you can also file a Rule 71 paragraph 3 waiver for the notice of intention to grant under Rule 71 paragraph 3. That comes with another acceleration symbol. And by these two measures, we can save in average 23.3 months before the saving. That is a lot of time. And if you take all these time savings together, then the total time saving can be 38.3 months of an average prosecution time of about 50 months. And just to let you know, these were the figures for 2017 when I put this talk together. This is not bad, right? So from a four years and something prosecution time, you can reduce to only 12 months or a little bit less than 12 months prosecution time. And that comes close to the track one prosecution route at the US Patent Office. If you want to know more about accelerating patent prosecution at the EPO, please watch the full course with seven lessons on my personal website www.iplawyertools.com and I give you a short overview. The lesson two would be PACE request basics. The lesson three is how to turbocharge your PACE requests. Lesson four is the PPH patent prosecution highway in a nutshell. Lesson five is how to accelerate the final grant procedure. Lesson six is the PCT procedure for connoisseurs. And lesson seven would be how to get all the toothpaste out of the tube, which means the time savings. Note, each lesson of this course ends with a warning to users of my course. 
Please watch it. Then I have also to give some credit. Great pleasure to Mr. M Michel Gudilis and Mr. Markus Rabe and Mr. Markus Karl of the EPO. They helped me tremendously. Thank you again, gentlemen. And now here's the warning. This course, Accelerating Patent Prosecution at the EPO, is intended as an advanced training for lawyers and patent attorneys. This course is not intended for laymen and self-filers. The EPO operation procedures are fail-safe and they are intended to prevent unintended loss of rights, even for unexperienced applicants and inventors. And please note, by applying the teachings of my course, you deliberately cut away some safety nets. You may incur unwanted delays or even losses of rights if you do not know what you are doing. Goodbye.